was a cross-conference matchup on the road for the Locomotive FC, taking on Sporting Kansas City 2 in the first ever matchup between the clubs. This is only the third match for the Locos, and Sporting Kansas City 2 came into this looking for its first win. Let's go ahead and look at some of those highlights. Here we go. The match sprang into life in the opening 10 minutes. An SKC 2 turnover here with Locomotive's Dylan Mares opening up a chance for Jose Anguinaga for a left shot, shot to the left corner saved by SKC's John Polskamp. Now here's a chance on the other end. Harris slides it in behind, but the Locos Richie Ryan rejects it before it finds a net. Minutes later, McCauley King with a cross to Jose Aaron Gomez for a header, but it's so close, Pulse Camp hauls it aside. The match continued with many chances on both ends, but the two sides settled for a point apiece. SKC finished with six saves on their end, Locomotive with a pair of stops for a final draw of 0-0. And watching his team from home, Locomotive FC defender Andrew Fox joined El Paso fans at a watch party this afternoon. Palomino Tavern in West El Paso holding the event, inviting fans to watch the match with Fox as he helped cheer on the boys in blue, taking on the Eastern Conference opponent. He tells KTSM what it's like to be on the other side of the screen for once. I think as a player, always disappointed not to be involved. Um, yeah, it's, it can be difficult watching sometimes, you know, just because you, you want to be out there helping your teammates. But um, it's a lot of fun, you know. It's, it's nice to actually be on the, the other side of things and see how, how much it means to some of the fans here when, when we're away playing. Locomotive FC come back to El Paso June 9th to take on Indy 11 after another road match first on Thursday versus Austin Bolt FC.